that ever had in this ministry. And I just want to thank God for his in it when I came into church. Actually, this all happened the second day of the anniversary, when my hero fell on my leg and he gave just a very little scratch. I knew it's something that's actually going to pass. So the, the, the third day of the anniversary, I came to church. I was actually very happy. The next day, I woke up, I felt my leg came, it was something else. And I called my mom to the room and I told her, this is what is actually happening. I'm not actually feeling my leg there. So she prayed for me and she asked, would I be happy to to God? And I said yes. So I went to work. Uh, the next day, I came back home. And when I woke up, the next day I woke up and I discovered that my leg swollen. So I called my mom again and I told her that mom, this is actually what is happening. The pain is severe and the leg is swollen. So she prayed for me again and she asked me, can I show you the room to go to work today? I said yes, I will, I will manage. So I right now, when I saw that it's another scenario, I literally cannot do anything. My boss told me to just see and let me not do anything. She had to give me pain that so I could submit the paper to not have nothing happen. And I had to test a friend of mine who is a doctor and he had to prescribe the drugs. I smelled the leg and I said to him, he prescribed the drugs and I put. So I got the drugs and I put the drugs. It kind of made us think it's actually okay, the pain is suffering. So after two hours, not up to two hours, I felt the pain was really and my boss told me that she cannot allow me to go back home or else she will not be there. So she sent her driver to go back home. So I came back home and my mom saw what was happening and she was like, what's going on? She had to pray with me. In the morning, the next day, she abused her oil, the anointing oil on my leg, and she prayed. She told me it's well. So this Sunday morning, my mom came. She asked me how it's going. I told her mom, it's still a good plan. See that I'm not working properly. And I cannot stand properly. So she administered a lot of oil again. I told her mom, this is kind of like, I'm not sure I'll be able to go to church. She said, no, we will do anything. We will only have to be in church. And I said, okay. So we prepared and we came to church with a lot of difficulties. Arriving in church, I had to wait to stand for the prayer line. And mom was giving some declarations. I was seated. I was like, Amen, Amen, God is, I need a miracle, I need a testimony. So mom gave me a song, something that only one else gets it. And I felt like some courage shocking my head. And my next thing, I spoke up. I started taking some steps and I saw that the thing was so new. Actually, my mind was 
that God keep him in job. And immediately after we finished the celebration, as the praises were going on, my phone kept on ringing. So since I put on vibration, I checked the phone and I discovered it was one we called seven times. So I opened the phone and I checked my WhatsApp messages and I discovered that he just sent me a message that presently they just called him for a job. Celebrate Master Jesus Christ. I so much want to thank God for what He has been doing in my life and my family. I want to thank God for Him. The first Sunday I came back from studies when I came to church, it wasn't quite easy. I felt sick and for three days I could not eat and not drink water, nothing happened. Like my chest was really blocked. I want to thank God so much for using our mother in the house. And she prayed for me that Sunday. She really took her time and prayed for me, prayed for my family. And behold, that very Sunday, I went back home and I was scrambling for food. I was like, oh, this is food, food. I'm hungry, I want food. I ate and I drank, I nothing, I did not show up. I just want to give God a glory. I want to thank God for success in my academics. It's been so amazing. 